Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to learn everything related to race condition vulnerabilities. Like what is race condition vulnerabilities? Where do we look for these kind of vulnerabilities? What is the root cause behind these vulnerabilities? And a lot more, right? But as always, before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video, in which I've shown you that how we can find hidden informations, in a JavaScript file using a tool known as Mantra, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let's get started. So first thing first, let us try to understand what is race condition, right? So basically in simple terms, uh, we can say that suppose there is an application, right? Where you're allowed to, you know, create two or three accounts or let's take another example for example let's say there is an e-commerce application where we have a functionality to use coupon codes right we all know that coupon codes generally expire after using it for one time right or maybe two or three, three times depending on the coupon right but what will happen if the attacker is able to use that coupon multiple times right but let's say the limit is one right for example the coupon code can be only used once right now what will happen if the attacker is able to use that same open code twice right in that case he will be able to you know break the logic of the application and the root cause behind this vulnerability is race condition vulnerability we'll go deep into this term race condition but first let us try to understand this with an example so for example i have created a lab let me show you so let me just open my browser here and let me just go to localhost and this is the application that we are going to test for risk condition vulnerability let me just minimize this and now see this functionality over here we have total users in this account is currently zero and it's saying that you can only add up to three users with your current plan right so let's say this is a uh, application in which you are allowed to only uh, add three users right if you want to add more users you have to upgrade your account or you have to buy the subscription plan right something like that so the three users only three users are allowed right which means that the max users the max amount of users that we can create is three let's try to create the users for example let's say the first user is myself as you can see it is saying that the user has been added right let's try to add another user let's say be practical let's add this and let's try to add another user let's say uh, testing right as you can see we have added three users now let's try to add more users for example testing two right let's click on add users and as you can see right now we get a message saying unauthorized right which means that we are not allowed to add users more than three right if you want to add it then we need to upgrade our plans right this is what this uh, application is saying now how can we bypass this particular functionality right sometimes if we send multiple requests to this endpoint so it may be possible that we'll be able to add more than the limit has been set right the more users rather than the limit that is set by the web application for example here the limit is set to three right which means that we could be able to add more users than three if we send concurrent requests which means we send huge amount of requests at the same time right this is what race condition is all about this is how you look for vulnerabilities a race condition type of vulnerability right so always try to look for race condition in in that functionality which have some limits like the previous example like the coupon codes like this one like here we can only add up to three accounts right so these are the perfect scenario for testing race condition vulnerabilities now let's try to see how we can find race condition in this particular application so I'm just going to reset it to zero. We saw that we are only supposed to add three users, right? So if we were able to add more than three users, which means that we are using the premium account functionality in our free account, right? So there is a business loss kind of vulnerability over here, right? So this is a logical bug. Let's try to understand that how we can do this. For that, you can either use burp suit or you can use a uh, Burp suits intruder or you can create your own custom tool written in python or any other language in this example 
I'm going to write a Python code that will help you to understand what we are going to do in this particular scenario. Let me just go to my main directory. Let's create a software. Let's say poc.py. Oh, sorry. It's, let me just create poc.py. Right. Okay. I've got some mistake. Let me just first let me just get rid of this dot py and now let's create this. Yeah. So now let's import some important libraries, requests, and then we're going to import threading. Why we are going to import threading? Because we want to send. Ah, sorry. We want to send multiple requests right to the server at the same time, right? This is why we are going to use threading in this particular scenario. Let's specify the URL. The URL is that URL which we are going to use to send the post request. We can either use burp suit to find the URL going in the post request or we can just go with the network tab. Let's add a user. Let's click on add user and here we'll be able to see the user. Okay, we are not able to see this. Let's try to open verb suit. Let's wait for a few seconds. Let me just show verb suit real quick. Meanwhile, I'm just going to reset it. Start it. This. Let's just reset it. Let me just use the verb. Here it is. Here's our burp suit. Let's turn on the intercept. And let's try to see what is the request going behind. Right. So let me just type my name out here. Let's click on add users. And as you can see, there's a request going on this add user. Right. So I just can just right click and click on this copy URL. And I can just paste it right over here. Right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a small function that is going to Send the request okay and i'm going to save the response to this response variable and with request dot post method i'm going to send a post request using python so here we specify the url and then we are also going to pass the data and the data will be as you can see from here the parameter is name and then the value so the key will be name and the value will be the value that we are passing so let's go with uh name and let's say attacker right then we're going to use the dot text method to convert the response into a text format okay we have done that and now what i'm looking for is let me just show you so i can just click on to intercept the response just forward this and as you can see in the response we have a message user added right so if we were successfully able to add a user then we should be able to see this message right user added so we are going to do if user added is in the response then we are going to print the user has been added successfully right otherwise we are going to print fail okay simple as that and now let's call this function right let's try to run this and if everything works then we'll be able to see this attacker user in this particular application let's run this poc.py and we're getting this error why we're getting this error because this there is some spelling mistake over here res yes now we should be able to see okay, showing that it is failed right let's try to see why it is failed so we have done request dot post we have sent the url with the name parameter and all and we have i think we have done everything right yes so this issue could be let me just uh do a quick reset over here as you can see the attacker has been added but uh, we are not getting this let me just try to run the python script again even though we are getting this error but 
yeah okay so there's some kind of issue over here let me just reset it let's run this again yeah showing that the user has been added successfully let's test this out let's try run this again again the user has been added successfully right so we should be able to use this tool for three times right because after that it will not allow us to do this as you can see now it's showing fail and now we are unable to add any users right what we are going to do is we are going to speed up this process the process of sending requests we are going to speed that let's see how we can do this but first let me just reset this back to the initial data and now we are going to use threading right let's see how we can do this so basically i'm going to create a variable let's say a array equals to and i'm going to use a list comprehension method of python to generate a thousand thread request that will send this uh, request on the server right so we are going to send thousands of requests at the same time right let's see how we can do this so we can type threading dot thread that target equals to this function name which is send right then we can just type start to call this function and then we're going to use for x in range thousands right so for the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to generate a thousands of number and for each of these numbers it is going to start a thread right and what will each thread do each thread is going to send the post request on this particular application right now initially as you can see that after three attempts we are getting failed but if we were able to get more of this message the user has been added successfully it will mean that we were able to add more users in this application than the actual threshold that has been set right let's save this and let's try to run this and let's do a small thing as well that i'm going to keep all these things into a loop so that it will keep sending each thread is going to send the request again and again just to speed up the process right let's try to run this and let's see what happens so as you can see currently let me just show you guys that it is currently zero let's try to see what will happen if we run this so run this and now we are getting failed message right we just stop it right over here and if we look closely up here we'll see that we've got the message how many times one two three four five six seven so we were able to get this message for seven times right so initially the application allowed us to only uh, add three users right but we were able to add how many users seven users let's try to verify this so we can just refresh this now and as you can see right over here we were able to add seven users in this particular application right so this is what race condition means right why this is happening let's try to understand this in the source code so let me just open the source code and we're going to see how we what is the actual cause behind it right so see this is the post request going on right first thing that it is doing is it is finding the amount count basically right so suppose that if i have added the user one time then the count will increment to one then it is checking the count whether the count is less than three or not if it is less than three then it is adding this right and then it is incrementing the data right so suppose i have added a new user then the value will be incremented to one so the initial let's say the initial user i have is zero i have added a new user so the new user will come zero plus one equals to one right the new count will become one right similarly if we add new user then it will become one plus one two right otherwise if the data is greater than three or equals to three then we'll get that we are under authorized to access the server but the thing over here is see between this time between this first is going to check the data then it is going to say user alert then it's going to add the data and then it is going to increment the data right but if multiple threads are working then it could be possible that let's say two or more threads were able to read this data when the when the data's value is two right so now instead of one thread two threads have read the data that data is two which is less than three right the two threads were able to read this data which means that the th two threads will be able to create users which means that there will be two users created for the value two right i hope you are able to get along with me basically there is a time delay between verifying and uploading the file so if multiple requests were sent at the same time then we'll be able to 
do some stuff like the logical vulnerability that we did over here right so this is the actual cause of this application and if you have saw, uh, saw my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can bypass the file upload restriction using the same race condition method then you know how it works right so if you haven't checked this check that video out then the link is given in the description you can also check that one out or also you can see it on the right side of the screen right so this is the main reason behind this particular vulnerability which is race condition right i hope that you have understood it feel free to let me know if you have any doubts or any issues right so this is basically how you can look for race condition vulnerability now the second question is where should we look for race condition vulnerability right as you can see from here look for vulnerabilities race condition vulnerabilities basically where the application has some limits like you can add up to three users you can use this coupon only once you can transfer 1000 amount of rupees at only uh, one time right after that it will be deduct deducted so there is high possibility that there may be race condition vulnerabilities presented over there right so and it is actually one of the most underrated vulnerabilities that i've seen like many people look for process scripting and skill injection but they don't actually test for race condition type of vulnerability right so now i hope that uh, i was able to you know demonstrate how we can test for race condition vulnerability uh, in web applications feel free to let me know if you have any doubts or any issues reg regarding this video and now if you like the video then feel free to join our telegram channel to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is hacking windows with python where you are going to learn that how we can create our own custom malware that can be used to execute system commands access webcams that will be 100 percent bypassable by any device till now and the second course is the ultimate guide to hunt account takeover vulnerabilities in your application as the name suggests in this particular course we are going to learn that how we can find misconfiguration in applications web application to be more specific that allow you that allow us as an attacker to hack any user account because of the misconfiguration in the website and both of these courses are fully practically demonstrated so go ahead and check them out if you want to the link is given in the description right once again please let me know if you have any doubts and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and Thanks for watching.